Here's a good drill with pure plane that I have a lot of success with when I help players improve that over the top move in transition. What we're gonna do is set up the base of the alignment stick in line with my club and a target if I were hitting to a target. But right now I'm not using a golf ball. So I have it close by where I would hit it if, I, if my club head moves into pure plane. So here's how the drill works. We're gonna take it back and the club head's gonna stay outside the um, pure plane, on this side of pure plane. To do that, we can't roll the club inside. Okay, we can't go into too much flexion. And we just can't start to do this where there's not a lot of hinge. We need to get that club going outside by feeling a little vertical hinge, okay, without any roll. And that should get this club on that side of pure plane. Now, as it goes up, we can allow the weight to continue going up and behind, and then it should be able to fall back down behind the hands. So we're basically going in front of the hands and then behind the hands, or on this side of pure plane, above it, and then underneath. So watch how, how I do this drill. And I'm just trying to get a feel for this club falling behind the hands. Why is that important? Well, in transition, that's what we're trying to feel in order to shallow and hit from the inside. Most players will do the opposite. Amateurs will do the opposite. They go, they go behind the hands and then in front of the hands or under pure plane and then over pure plane. So this is a great drill to work on the correct fundamentals where a club stays a little outside the hands and it draws behind. So I'm just doing this little small swing. So the club goes up behind and then drops down and under. So it comes down behind the hands and now we can attack more from the inside. When you're ready to start hitting shots, just grab a ball, go far enough in front of pure plane where you're not gonna hit it. You could even just rehearse it using the visual and then go ahead and hit a shot and just try to replicate the feel as best you can. Make sure you go at a slow speed. You don't wanna try to be hitting it too hard at the beginning. So we gotta get this feel correct and then we gotta get it in a slower swing first before you start cranking up the speed. So I hope this helps you, just a simple little drill to work on this transition feel in a takeaway. Uh, remember, if you work on it here, you get better at here. We're gonna start to be able to do it in transition where we need it most, okay? So give that drill a go, it's definitely gonna help.